Hi guys, well here's a surprise, I am wearing makeup and I look quite dressy. This is basically because I'm going out in a minute. Um, I'm being invited to my friend's vegan supper club this evening. Obviously it is a Christmas theme, thus the glitter and the sparkle. But I just thought I'd pop up a second video, one to say what on earth is with the freeze frame from my previous video. Um, obviously YouTube selected that shot on my last video to start it off. I look very odd, but um, I'm not too sure how you can change it so that you can select what you want to put on the front of cover of your video that other people see to get them interested to watch it. Um, I need to do some research around this to see what I can do to change it so that it looks a bit better and you haven't got me doing this kind of face. Um, this is generally not good, I feel. So yeah, on the theme of Christmas, I thought I would share with you what my friend is cooking tonight. I would take a video there, but obviously it's her house and I haven't asked her and I feel a bit rude filming. So um, I just thought as an example, following on from my plight of the Christmas turkey video, um, I would give some examples of other things that you can cook for vegan Christmas, which don't involve any meat or any dairy products. Um, any kind of attempt towards even just going vegetarian would be great. You don't have to go the full-blown vegan. I think any effort on behalf of the animals is a positive thing. So, for just for some examples um, of what you could cook, my friend's doing two starters. They're both soups, um, but she's doing a cream of broccoli soup and a winter vegetable soup with sort of chunky vegetables in it rather than the puree version. Um, you could also do something like... Hmm, bruschetta with um, baby tomatoes, olive oil, and you can buy um, imitation mozzarella, so it's vegan mozzarella, but it's available. I think Sainsbury's do one. I did go shopping there today and try and find their vegan cheese range, but was most disappointed, so unfortunately I don't have that to share with you, but um, I believe they do do one if you can find it. Um, and then going on to main course, she's cooking various different dishes. There's a, what was it called? A Garzo, Gabzo, something like that. Um, bean and veggie bake. There's a shepherd's pie. There is a curry, I think, as well, and a nut roast. I think a nut roast as well, um, which all sound really nice. And also, she's doing pudding, which I'm most excited about because the one area of vegan cuisine that I'm not that great at, to be honest, is pudding. I find this more of a challenge than main course and starters. So my friend is making, oh my goodness, banoffee pie. So excited for banoffee pie. She's also doing a chocolate lattice plat. I have no idea what that's going to be like, but it sounds amazing. Chocolate is always good. And then she's also doing mince pies. So just as some examples of other things that you could cook, um, even, you know, you might think, oh, you know, mince pies for vegans. All you need to do is change how you make the pastry. The mince meat filling, I believe, is still pretty standard. Obviously, you need to swap the milk in the pastry for soy milk. Um, if you're using butter or margarine, just use vegan margarine. I don't think pastry's got egg in it. I can't remember off the top of my head, but you can use a flax egg. Not sure how that works. It's something to do with flax seeds and I think oil. But I will come back to you on how you do a flax egg because it's in a couple of recipes I've got and I've yet to try it. So I will come back to you on that. But you can also use egg replacer, which I have some of in my cupboard, which I will show you on another video tomorrow or the day after. Soon, coming up, discussions on egg replacements. Um, I think that might be an idea. So yes, um, there's lots and lots of different things you can do, as I say. I just wanted to share it with you because obviously, you know, there I am ranting about using turkeys. Well, it's not very helpful if I don't give you alternative options. So they're just some suggestions. There's lots and lots of other things you can make. Um, I would try and take some pictures tonight. Um, of the food and show you but as I say maybe next time when my friend does one of these supper clubs because I haven't asked her first and I don't want to turn up with a camera in everybody's face because that might be a bit like what are you doing with the camera in my face so yeah it could be interesting but hopefully it'll be a really fun night um and yeah I just thought I would share this with you give you some ideas um also other ways of getting ideas and I'm just gonna do a little bit of promotion here because I think these magazines are great you can pick up the likes of this. This is full of vegan and vegetarian ideas, well vegan actually, not vegetarian, but vegan cooking recipes for, there's Christmas pudding in here, there are mousses, there are all kinds of interesting like desserts. There are loads of main meals including, try and remember now, I'll have to put it down and have a look. 
So, for example, I have literally just opened this, and the first thing I've come across is this, which I mentioned earlier on. I haven't made this yet, but if you can see. Satan Wellington, and it looks like that. So it's obviously cooked in a pastry case. Oh, goodness me, that's heavy. Um, so that's one idea. Satan's like a meat replacement. I haven't actually tried it, but I know lots of my friends eat it, and they quite like it. There's also recipes for, as a starter, pot stickers, vegetable pot stickers. Um, also, Chinese golden temper pancakes. Now, that sounds yummy, in my opinion. Um, I might have to have a go at that. What's in it? Let's have a look, shall we? I'll show you what it looks like. Hang on. Ooh, whoops. That's the pot stickers. And this over here is the pancake. Oh, I just think that looks really yum. It's got temper in it. Ooh, camera angle. I just turned the cat to hammer around, didn't I? Sorry, guys. <laughs> didn't mean to give you a 360 head spin. I have to remember not to do that. I'm still learning with this camera business. So going back to the pancakes, what's in it includes temper or tofu, uh, shredded spring onions, shredded cucumber. Uh, what else? Chinese Put my teeth in. Chinese pancakes, which I believe you can get from any supermarket. Um, and various other bits and pieces, including ginger and soy sauce. So that sounds quite nice if you want to go for an oriental theme. Then we have various plats and pastries. Avocado spaghetti. Oh my goodness. Now this I definitely have to try because I love avocado. So yeah, there's loads and loads of ideas in that magazine. So you might want to try and find it. I will later on. I need to do a whole session of adding links to my videos. Bad Ruth. Not good at links. But yes, later on I will put the link to this. This is Vegan Food and Living magazine. I believe they have a website, so I will link that later on. And then there's also this one, Vegan Life magazine. This has less recipes. It's like got some recipes and some sort of opinions, ideas, um, things you can find in supermarkets that are accidentally vegan, all kinds of good stuff in there. So yeah, they're just some examples of things that you can use for research purposes. If you want to try some vegan meals, try something different, even if it's just like once a week or as a one-off to see what it's like, give it a go. Um, yeah, so that's my little video for this evening. I'm going to go off to my friends now in my lovely sparkly outfit. And uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about the makeup, but it's different. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, wobbly camera, please give me a thumbs up below or subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them below because I really like getting comments. It's nice to get some feedback, so please feel free. Thanks for watching and happy Christmas.